All right, all right, all right, everybody. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. One place that's not doing all right is the Krogans. <laughs> and we're about to go see them. Um, I discovered this here. Planetary Hollow. And every planet we've been to thus far is at 100%. So that's great. All right, let's go to Elodin now. See what's up with the Krogan. What's got them all freaking out besides that transport being stolen. Plus, I think it's the only thing on our list to do, really, besides hunt down the Archon. planet? What the hell is that? Whatever. We're on course. Alright, good. So is the second one like a gas giant or something? Why'd they pick the desert dust ball? Okay. So let's go with Drac and Vetra. Sam, send Callow the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac, we're landing on Elodin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. Sounds good. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. Exposed. I will gather what information I can, Pathfinder. All right, new territory. Basically looks like Tatooine with a little less desert and a little more trees. Who lives here besides the Krogan? Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. Yeah, people get who get chucked out of Kadara come here. That's uh that doesn't sound like they can be fun. White hot. We want to be careful. From what I hear, it's swarming with scum. Just make sure you know where your guns are. I said are. I wouldn't do it. Gonna get a better gun and take them all down. Sir, you want to not threaten violence upon me? Damn heat fried my crawler again. What the hell is this? Uh... Oh, visit paradise. Was I supposed to talk to one of them or no? Okay. It's a fair exchange. Why? Because you said. 
say it is? Partly. I wouldn't be in business if I... So you're an ear. That's right. And you are? Veteran X. We do business with the same people in Kadara. Ah, yes. One of the newcomers. Welcome, all of you, to my paradise. Outside the gates, you're on your own. But in here, you're safe. Anyone violates the peace, they have to answer to me. Being able to maintain control here must be difficult. These people need me. They need what I sell, so they behave, or they're out. Now what can I get you? How can I help? Just let me know. I'm supposed to meet a Krogan here named Strux? Look around. If my customers have names, I don't know them. It's better that way. <laughs> okay. I'll look around. Alright, it says he's back this way. Hello. Well, well, look at you. I'm good at reading people. Want me to guess who you are? Sure. Shoot. A Pathfinder. Impressive. <laughs> how do you know? I cheated. I run salvage to Kadara. Word travels fast there. Should hear what the Collective is saying about you. What are they saying? Well, now I'm curious. Don't worry. All good things. Really? Ever work with a guy named Reyes? Reyes? He's one of my buyers, actually. You know him? We've met. I'm not surprised. Reyes knows everyone. Some a little too well. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah? What's your take on Elodin? If the worm or the gang leaders don't kill you, the heat in Ataraxia will. The worm? I don't know how anyone can live here. Somehow, they make it work. Barely. At least once a trip, an escaped slave or ex-cultist tries to bribe me for a ride out of here. Hold Except on. the Krogan. I've seen new Tachanka. We'd all be lucky to have a setup like theirs. Slaves and cult? You want to explain that part, please? <laughs> you said you run salvage to Kadara? How does that work? The scavengers come from Hell's Promise to sell me their scraps. I pay them next to nothing. Charming. Then what? I haul my loot to Kadara and sell to the merchants. The charlatan takes a portion of my haul, of course. I'm still sitting pretty. Sometimes I even buy water from Aenea and sell it at a premium in the flop house. It's a solid life. If you say so. That water part sounds like a scam, but whatever. You must deal with the scavengers a lot. No more than I have to. Slavery, cannibalism, gang leader worship. It's enough to make my skin crawl. That's terrifying. I plan to keep my distance. Smart. But it's not just the gang leaders. The ones in the paradise are dangerous too. This is supposed to be a neutral zone. But I don't trust the scavengers to follow the rules. Well, Aenea should hire some guards then, but I'll see you later. Take it easy. Always do. Are you Jorgal Strux? Maybe. You who I think you are. I'm the Pathfinder from the Nexus. You asked me to meet you here. Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Everyone's best chance for survival is to cooperate. That includes the Krogan. Good. Nice to know some people are on our side. So, trouble at the colony? Is heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? Hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus, that much we know. Drac trusts Morda, and I trust Drac. Hern, Morda's leading the colony for a reason. She's tough, but that's good. You're not there, Drac. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. Krogan dying? Your homeworld's worse than this place. Right. Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. That makes sense. We need the Krogan and the Krogan need us. 
We all came to Andromeda as one. We should at least try to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morta ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planted. Talk to Ravenor Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen. I can just headbutt her ass though, right? I want the option to headbutt a Krogan. It, it has not come up yet in this game and I need it. <laughs> you got to do it like four times in, um, in Mass Effect 2. I forget if you were able to do it in three. I think maybe once or twice. Or at least threaten to, I don't know. Activating automated forward station deployment. Okay. So, Eladin. Charming so far. What do we got? Besides the sand. The Revenant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned. Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. Mm. Here, scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is new to Chunka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes. Sounds fun. Not really. Eladin is tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death, as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. Jesus. And on that cheery note, let's head for the climate-controlled paradise of the Nomad. Yep, please. <laughs> So if this side never cools, is the other one, is the other side Looks just like fucking the frozen? Was pretty upset with you. The usual. Huh? <sighs> Curfew's unfair. Staying back in the Nexus where it's safe is unfair. Everything's unfair. She hates me. She pulled a "You're not my mom" line. Not this time. Ah, you're doing fine. <laughs> Look at Drag giving parenting tips. Let's check this out first. Pathfinder, Ooh, this area hello. can be mined for resources. You can extract a lot of iron, by a lot your of mining interface. Ryder, are those scavengers dismantling the remnant tech? That a problem? It is if they get their hands on a remnant core. It could become unstable and attract the scourge. Oh shit! How do we stop it? Beats me. Pathfinder, I could modify your Omni tool to disable the cores and prevent them from reacting. Do it, please. Do it. Let's go fix this. Okay, come on. Come here, you bitch. I'm not on time limit. That's good. So basically, just kill them all and fix it. What the hell? Path at least, sort of. Let the remnant focus on them. Or maybe not. Maybe they won't. Using um, cryo ammo would probably be really refreshing besides the bullet wounds. One down. 
Okay, can't go that far up. Or that far up. We will just take this route. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. I know. Can I? Oh, shit. Okay, so I can touch that. Technically, it's not going to hurt me. Even though the Scourge destroys ships. Okay, nothing over here. Close at least. Ah, no, 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 no. failing. Seek safety immediately. All right, um. Shield capacitors. Get the f get up, Ryder! Oh my god, am I stuck in here? I need to find shade for a second. But that was that was terrible. Sometimes I wish this had a little bit more Dragon Age mechanics where you could switch between your uh, companions. Oh wait, what the hell? Thought my life sport was going back up. No, it isn't. Where's the nomad? We're gonna bring this in just a little closer. Oh my god. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. I know, Sam. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Thank you for that information, Sam. Shit. Life support failure is imminent, Pathfinder. Wait, wait, hold on. Don't, don't go there just yet. <laughs> Was I trying to go too high? I might have been trying to go too high the first time. What are you all shooting at? That should do it. I detect scavenger interference at additional random sites. Never make it easy for me. We'll figure it out. Other sites. Back to hunting for the colony. You can see the heat waves. I get the feeling we're going to be ambushed by scavengers increasing. at some point. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Thank you, Sam. Life support at 100%. Thank you, Sam. Scavenger tech ahead. They'll be looking for scrap here. Yeet! So, Porter's still pissed off at the Nexus. You'll want to be careful around the kid. Um. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. Once the Krogan put their mind to something, they'll get it done. Yeah, they usually tend to do that.
Activating automated forward station deployment. Getting close to New Tuchanka. Yeah, we're right here. Greetings, greetings. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Move along. No outsiders. She's with me. Human Pathfinder. Drac. It's been a while. Shargle Strux sent me. I'm supposed to talk with Morda. So now Strux is friends with the Nexus. Can I go in? Traitor. Think I'm a traitor too? Shut it, Breck. Don't make me headbutt you. I absolutely will. But I want to! Uh, tougher than you look. All right, go ahead. I'll spread the word so Morda knows you're here. Good. Didn't I just go on a rant about not being able to headbutt a Krogan? And now I get to threaten it, but not actually do it? What's <laughs> up, buddy? Uh, hello. I, I noticed you were listening. Uh, is it because you're a fan of the Krogan genius, Dr. O'Kear? I'm frantic because a terminal with all his research was accidentally sold to a junker. Um, no? Maybe? What was on it? His work regarding Krogan physiology and the genophage was advanced. I was his protege. Or, I was acquainted with his protege. <sighs> Anyway, it's encrypted, but it would be bad right. if it fell into the wrong hands. I can so, give you a nav point and the name of the scavenger I accidentally sold it to. Do that. Who was Dr. O'Kear? We all know who the hell he was. You talk about Dr. O'Kear like I should know who that is. Dr. O'Kear was on the leading edge of Krogan genetics and possibly curing the genophage. And not using the slow genetic mutation approach the initiative has invested in. I have, I had a collection of his research. I hope to cure the genophage in the colony. Send me the nav point and the terminal identification. Done. I hope it's still on the planet. The Junker was aggressive. If y'all had just, if y'all had like hidden out and waited for the Reaper War to be over and then left, you would have cured the genophage already. But I get it. Big fan theory is that Andromeda happened to keep people away from the Reaper War. But uh, y'all missed the the cure. Damn! Look at the sky. Just stick around. See how it plays out here. No promises. Ooh, boy, that's a long way down. We ought to check it out. Actually, Can I scan anything around here? Is this just kind of right, Colony Krogan? You here? Soft, squishy human like you should probably steer clear of the wildlife out there. You said something about a worm. Not a worm. The worm. Huge. Invincible. You can't miss it. It pops out of the dunes from time to time. Plows down everything in its path. As if this planet wasn't deadly enough. Good news is, it doesn't attack us. It doesn't seem to care about us at all. Just stay out of its way. It'll barrel right through you, tear you to pieces. Makes Thanks sense. for the heads up. Oh, uh, what's down here? Okay, so this has a lot of foliage. This must be where Drax's loyalty mission is. Okay, so let's go actually go to the throne room first. Speak to Ravenor Brink. There he is, hello. You Ravenor Brink? Strux sent me. He said hey. that you... Yes. Find me later near the fighting pit. Hey, Nexus. I'm the one you talk to around here. Are you Morda? I'm Nakmar Morda, overlord of the Krogan in Helios. 
Overlord? Drac, Kesh said you had a new job. She didn't tell me you did. And you're the celebrated Pathfinder from the Hyperion, found at last. I'm Ryder. This is thrilling. I've never stood so close to a Pathfinder before. Mostly because the Krogan never got one. Welcome to New Tachunka. You mean that? Because it doesn't sound like you mean that. You're right. I don't. You weren't there when the Council species on the Nexus banded together to screw over the Krogan. Again. New Galaxy, same crap. I'd just like you to give me, personally, the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Why are you here, Pathfinder? To see what a successful colony looks like. I work for the Initiative, and we paid your way here. You left us, so leave us alone. Any Krogan action against the Nexus will be considered a war crime, or murder. Murder? Human, have you ever seen a Krogan stillbirth? Get out of my face before I smash it. I'm going to journal about this later. See you soon. Okay. Well, uh, that went about as much as, or as well as I thought it was going to. Mord is a hard ass, but that surprised even me. Not good. Yeah, maybe. You mentioned action against the Nexus, and she didn't say no. Let's talk to Brank before we freak out. Yeah. This dude seems to know Drac. I don't sell Rincol to humans. Matter of principle. Uh, Rincol? What's Rincol? Krogan alcohol. Like drinking a live grenade. I distill it myself. Strongest in the galaxy. That's impressive. Not really. I'm the only distiller in the galaxy. Makes sense. Remind me to stock up. <laughs> What's funny is she says that, but uh, back at that party, Angarin, wa ru Angarin wine, dear lord, and Ringcall is what Ryder drank. She was totally fine. Blackout drunk, but fine. What's it like living out here? It's no paradise, but it's easier than Tachanka. Back home, stepping outside during a nuclear wind could tear the plate from your skull. Yeah, it, do, it is easier than Tachunka. Uh, why leave Tachunka? How's the trip to Helios? Why uh, won't you sell to me? Yeah, sell me some Ringcall. What do you have against selling Ringcall to humans? Spend too much time babysitting humans who think they can stomach it. Fact is, you can't. I Maybe have. It won't kill you, but it'll leave me a mess to clean up. I bet I could handle it. Typical. I already have, though. What was it like, traveling on the Nexus? Don't know. I remember Solarians packing us into cryo. Some of us needed a double hit to fall asleep. Huh. Then, nothing. Suddenly, we were here. You want to know more, ask Varric. Says he woke up mid-journey and lived 50 years alone on the Nexus. Oof. He has to be lying. Probably. Good story, though. I mean, yeah, because he probably would have went crazy without anybody to talk to. But, um, don't Krogan live upwards of a thousand years anyway, so it's possible. What made you pick up and come to Helios? I was sick of living on a dead planet, watching my people tear each other apart. Hitching a ride on the Nexus was a chance to start over. But you left the Nexus. And built this. Best decision the Krogan ever made. Just wish it was on better terms. Yeah. Not wise to burn bridges out here. Yeah, you're right. Especially on this hellscape. That's all for now. Back to it. I wonder, have they... Oh my god, I thought that said Erdnot Grunt for a second. I'm like, huh? Ah. Ryder, this is Grunt, an old friend. Practically built this whole place. Don't let the fact that he's Erdnot bother you. He can't help it. What do you think of the colony? Pretty great, huh? I didn't expect all this. It has its certain charms. When you said colony, I didn't think you meant this. Why didn't you tell me, Drac? Wasn't sure about you at first. And then it seemed simpler to just show you when we got here. Makes sense. It's... rustic? That's what we're going for. Rustic. I'm guessing <laughs> you have questions. Oh my god, um, Drac in the colony? You seem at home here, Drac. And you're not getting any younger. 
Ever think of retiring? The day you dig my grave, old timer. Sad honor that'll be. There's a lot of prefab materials here, and shuttles. Some of it was gear we had stored away on the Nexus. The rest we sort of stole when we left. Not ah. like anyone was gonna stop us. You right. <laughs> Nobody's gonna go up against an army of angry Krogan. Uh, Age of the Colony, vegetation. The plants here, where'd they come from? Ever since the clan got here, Vorn and his assistant have been working hard on the greenhouse. We built him and Hark some pretty fancy digs. Lights and everything. New to Chunga's plants grow way better than the ones back home. Way less radiation. Yeah, they probably had to adapt to adverse radiation, and now they're just super plants. How long has the colony been here? Since we left the Nexus, after the mutiny. Just like that? Leave the Nexus, start a colony? We're Krogan, kid. We can live anywhere. Could have parked our tails on a volcano and handled it just fine. Yeah, you're probably right. Y'all been here for oh, oh, probably over a year? Or a little bit over a year? How do you know Drac? We mined together back when our quads had barely dropped. Now I just can't seem to get rid of them. <laughs> That's all. I'll talk to you later. Alright, let's go find, um, Brank again. It says he's down. Where? Another leak? Damn Exile scraps. I don't see, uh... I don't see a hallway. Sounds like it must be this way. It looks like it must be this way. What's out here? I'm leaving. No way this colony will make it. I'd love to take down the worm. Okay. Not the way, I don't think. Krogan are already thinking of leaving this colony too, Jesus. Where the hell are they gonna go? What's through here? Sorry, Pathfinder. No outsiders in the family quarters. Family quarters? Okay. Y'all have children already? What about the uh reproduction blockers? Don't you need to take medication to uh Come on. get off that? We have to Hey, Nexus, back me up. The initiative did cure the genophage like they promised, right? Not a cure. They've made some good progress. Barely. There's no point in getting our hopes up. It's our duty to populate the colony with strong, not more offspring. Am I right? Have you tried having kids before? Of course. Before the journey and after and <laughs> often. We just need to keep trying. Doesn't hurt to try? It's easy for you to say. Your children don't die in their eggs. Mm. I'd say keep trying, but I, I fuck it. I really get it. I understand. But if you don't have children, your species is gonna die out. This is a new life for the Krogan. Anything can happen. Pathfinder's right. We're starting over. We've actually got a shot at having a kid now. Let's continue this discussion later. It's a like. It's a, it's hard to apply to like real life, because in this situation, no, in life, humankind isn't gonna be done in by a lack of reproduction. <laughs> it's gonna be climate change, Let's resource wars, nuclear wars, or dumb idiots in the Oval Office. But mm. double your creds with the blood thrusters. Got your winning ticket right here. So, yeah. Sure, why not? All right, I'll take my chances. Is that all you got? All right, well, give me 9,000 credits. How the fuck did they get a hold of Okay. Is there like a betting console or a place where I can officially watch? Look at this place. Look at what we built. 
Are they gonna kill each other or what? Okay. <laughs> Where's Brank? There you are. Ravenor Brank. Quiet. Anyone tells Morda I'm talking to you and I'm kicked out. Last thing I want to do is jeopardize the Nexus or this colony. Me neither. Or Clan Ravenor. Or Clan Jorgal. Or Clan Erdnot. Some in Clan Nakmor, too. Okay, got it. Did you see the crash ship as you landed? Morda's after the Drive Core. Why? That's Remnant Tech. She can't activate it. What are you talking about? She's building a bomb. With the Drive Core as a power source. Sam? Dangerous to those handling it, but, in the end, very possible. Demolition teams have been busting down walls for months, battling those robots and scavengers. Lots here want peace with the Nexus. If Morda gets that drive core, boom, it's over. Now get away from me. Thanks, Brank. Okay. Shit. I've never known more than at least, like, a handful of Krogan to want genuine peace. <laughs> A bomb. He did say bomb, You've got right? An instinct for this pathfinder. Yeah, he did say bomb. Um, alright, so let, let's deal with that. Let's go deal with that first. And then we'll do, uh... The, uh, what you call it? The, the um, Seed Vault mission. Alright, so where are we going exactly? Out All the way out there. So, back to the... Nomad! I detect above normal temperatures. Sounds good. Am I going the wrong way? Eh, shit. I might be. We're gonna take it this way. Look at this. I bet you this desert holds a lot of salt, too. What the hell? I'm not a... Despite taking, like, two or three classes in it, I am not a... Uh, Geography, not a uh, geography or geology major. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. So, but I, I think it's salt that Life makes the sand this color. Instead of being like a yellow or orangish, like the Sahara and um, not Gobi, Arabian Desert are. Parts of the Sahara, definitely. The ambient temperature is normal. I need to get over this hill. Come on, you know. You can do it. It's not that hard. This is why we need a flying vehicle. Or fuck it, give me control of a shuttle. I'm fine with that. The Tempest should have a shuttle. Scout vehicle or not. Look at those sand pillars. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. I'm gonna keep saying it over and over again. I hate the hills in this game. Because it's a goddamn pain to get over them. Come on! Oh, 
Almost up, almost up, almost up. That's the remnant derelict Morta's obsessed with. Yeah, I know. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Oh god. Ambient temperature is normal. Detecting deep seismic activity in this area. That thing is massive. I wonder what brought it down. Wanna bet we're gonna run into a bunch of angry remnant? Yep. We'll keep your guns out. Yeah, the remnant scavengers are both. Oh, it's most certainly Those guys both. Guys aren't going to welcome us into their territory. Defenses, traps up ahead. Be careful. What fence? I didn't see a fence. Check in here. Anything? Nothing really of use, just storage shelves. I would have thought they would have set up shelter while trying to salvage anything from here. Oh god, are those turret those remnant turrets. And there's one right there too, so we gotta do a little zigzagging. Let's do this! Shotgun should be good. There we go. Oh shit! There's a lot more. There's a lot more. Down we go. Hey, we don't want your stuff. Stop shooting. Yeah, I bet they've heard that one before. We really don't. We just want the drive core. It, not really. Oh, that's track it scared the fuck out of me. There it is. There's more around every corner. Stay on your toes. Yeet. we go we need to look for some glyphs don't we okay let's find these glyphs wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner oh we only Should need to find one glyphs. Maybe we can take control of this place. <coughs> Got it. Like turn all the guns on the uh, on the raiders. Stick some colonists in here. Study the place. Ooh, probably oh, shouldn't have done that. So cool in here. So nice. Paladin's a mystery to me. It's hellish, hot. Lawless, crazy, murderous. Never mind the water mafia. Oh, Gotta be a big reward for those scavengers to put up at the wrist. Probably. 
Okay, so what's over here? Information from Kadara lists raw materials from remnant architecture as extremely profitable. Sounds good. There's a lot of damage in here. Better watch our step. Hopefully we can find a route to the drive core, then get out of here. Yeah, because it is a, uh... It's not just a derelict, it's a crashed derelict. The difference is minimal, but an important one. You're right. You're right. We'll only turn it on fully if we have to. The drive core's not here. Someone's been here, but they didn't come in the way we just did. Couldn't have. The ship has to be cracked open somewhere. There must be another entrance. That's what we get for coming in the right way. So, who has it? Scavengers? Gotta be. When I find the scavenger scum that has my drive core... Okay, I might be taking this too personally. Let's hunt them down. Okay, let's uh, go find that drive core and let's go up. Oh, this way probably. Oh, Lord, huh. we're getting an ammo drop. I don't drop. think these belong here. Flares! That's not remnant tech. The nope. intruders must have entered from this direction. It's ours. Let's keep moving. Clear. Keep on your guard. Be ready to open fire whenever needed. Remnant up ahead. Watch out! Remnant! Oh, son of a bitch. More flares. Seems like the right direction. Very kind of these thieves to leave us a clear trail. Pretty handy. I'd hate to get lost in here. Yeah, that would be terrible and terrifying. Who's next? It says up, but I don't know where it is. And it's not attacking, so I don't care that much. Getting hammered left and right by Remnant. Surprise attacked and whatnot. And let's be honest, all of them might not have dealt with this before. So we got more up ahead. Follow the trail, follow the yellow brick road. Pretty damn bright. And we're still outside. We're or we are. This is now how they got in, so. whoever it was. It took Watch back the back who took the drive core. If she knew about this entrance, they wouldn't try to break in. Right. Finally. Back out into the bright, bright, scorching light of day. 
<laughs> in a place where it's never not day. We've got a lock on your position. Sending down a forward station. Thank you. Suvi, Sam's uploaded a signature from the Remnant Dry Core housing. Can you trace it? Tricky from our position. It won't be a full scan. Give me whatever you can. We need to find out who stole it. Scavenger scum. <laughs> yeah, okay, probably. I think I've got something. I've updated your lab system. Alright, thank you, Suvi. And I think we are uh, going to see who stole it when we return. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you're on uh, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment with more Mass Effect Andromeda. See ya.